You know what, I just figured out that my mug says virgin on it. Hmm, how fitting. So a lot has happened this week, hasn't it? The President of the United States and the First Lady have both tested positive. Uh, Bora 2 is on the way. Truly the hero we don't deserve but we need, well, however that saying goes. And also, of course, Nvidia has finally thrown in a towel and delayed the release of the RTX 3070. Yes, after struggling with such huge shortages of graphics cards with the RTX 3080 and 3090 launches, they decided to move the launch of the RTX 3070 from the 15th of October to the 29th. And they're saying they're doing it in order to allow them and the partners to build up more stock for launch day. So we don't end up in the same situation where the cards got just sold out in seconds and you had tons of scalpers on eBay and other sites, you know, just ramping up the prices, making it in the end barely anyone actually got their hands on these graphics cards. And I gotta say, Congrats Nvidia, that is a nice, you know, pro-consumer move. Congrats, you know, the, the first stage of progress is admitting we have a problem. Like a problem of having so little stock that barely anyone actually got their hands on the graphics cards. So yes, you have to wait a few more weeks for your RTX 3070, but hopefully that means that you actually to get one, unlike what happened with the RTX 3080 and 3090 launches. And hopefully that's going to solve another thing that's been kind of annoying me, and that's when people have been claiming that this has all been done on purpose, by NVIDIA to, you know, make them artificially scarce, which is just so dumb, and I'm gonna have a whole video about this very soon, so definitely subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that out. However, here's something else to think about, because recently, these RTX 3000 cards have also come under fire because they just crash because of the way the power delivery is done on certain partner boards. So could they be also doing this in order to maybe have some last minute changes in the way the power delivery is done so that RTX 3070 cards don't crash the same way that the RTX 3080 and 3090 do? But here's the kicker. The RTX 3070 launch has been moved to a day after the AMD Radeon presentation for the next generation Radeon cards. So that's gonna be a very interesting time indeed. And I'm very curious to see exactly why they decided to do that. What's the rationale behind it? Because it clearly has been done on purpose. Maybe so that the second that Radeon cards drop, they could be able to say, hey, the RTX 3070 is better and it just launched and you didn't have to wait. Possibly, so I'm very, but I'm very curious to see what those two days will look like now. But yeah, definitely let me know what you think of NVIDIA delaying this RTX 3070 launch. I think it's a great thing because hey, hopefully we'll actually get some graphics cards in store this time. And overall, it just seems like a good pro-consumer move, which is always nice to see. But hey, if you're someone who's already buying such an expensive graphics card, maybe you use some of that money to support my channel on Patreon because we're one dollar a month goes a long way. Plus, I just redone my whole Patreon, so there's a whole bunch of new perks for you there so yeah definitely check it out and also like to find my patrons gavin burns and lkb for supporting this channel thank you ever so much down there you find a link to my discord if you want to talk to me about others like this or whatever else really and also down there are amazon links if you want to buy anything from amazon you can use our links you don't pay anything extra we get some money it's a win win but anyway that's really it so i hope you enjoyed this quick video if you did remember to subscribe like whatever and i'll see you all in whatever next goodbye everyone good bye